It is going to be a Zerg vs. Zerg for the second semi-final. Uh, oh, sorry, a Zerg vs. Terran. Sorry, I completely forgot GB2 is Terran. Uh, that totally skipped my mind. Um, Alright, so cool. It's going to be a bit more of an interesting game. I can feel like a complete idiot right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to be on Abyssal City, so we'll jump right into it. Alright, starting at the right-hand side of Abyssal City, of course, the underwater aquarium map. It is our Blue Zerg player. His name is Team Immunity Mafia. And his opponent, across to the left-hand side, in the yellow, as a Terran player, we'll see what he gets up to on this rather, you know, nicely sized map. I wouldn't say it's a huge macro map, but I wouldn't say it's a small, cheesy Steps of War map either. It is Jabito. Someone tweeted me. Ah. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I, I, I don't think this is a massive map, but uh, it still it still can bode quite well for macro-based games. Of course, you've got uh, a nice, easy-to-take natural there. Uh, you can wall it off a couple of ways. We saw Ruined uh, trying to wall it off with the bunker and the, and the supply depot here, but unfortunately, I think the, the supply depot is a little bit to the left. Um, you can, of course, also go for the other version, which is to just try and wall off here. Um, and, you know, we'll see how Mafia goes. Of course, a, a huge macro player. He loves to throw out a bajillion drones and uh, get you know, uh, get 700,000 drones going at like the five minute mark and obviously we'll see him getting the hatchery down as quickly as possible and then the big question will be, oh in fact no, there is no big question because there's big cheese from uh, Jibito. We got him going for the double racks, the double proxy racks just across to the side. It does avoid the path of both of the overlords. Uh, Mafia gonna have no idea that this is on the way. Looks like uh, these are really nicely timed, so he's going to sync that up. This overload is just... Well, whoa. That overload is actually going to catch it, but uh, not really in time to stop the Marines from uh, beginning their assault. Um, wow, we'll have to see how he goes about this. Looks like uh, he has scouted out what Mafia is up to, scouting the hatcheries there. And Mafia has now seen that there is at least one... Pro oh, wow. He almost pulled out of that before he uh, before he saw the second racks there. That would have been an interesting situation. So, Mafia now pulling some drones and a beautiful catch on that SCV. Wow, catching one of those SCVs is pretty big. That means there are only there is only one SCV available to Jibito to actually uh, set up this bunker that he is no doubt looking for. The interesting part about this map, there are no sort of crevices like you would see on, uh, on some of those maps, like in Tomb Valley, where you can hide some of these Marines, and it looks like Mafia, knowing that this threat is incredibly serious, is bringing all of his drones to the front, targeting down some of those drones, nicely done by Jibito. Looks like a couple of extra SCVs have come along to the fight, trying to uh, bring them along to help out with the construction of that bunker, but uh, so many, wow, that's a lot of drones have gone down so far. He's killed four of them, but Mafia responding with quite a lot of links, and will secure his natural base for the time being. So. We'll see how Jibito is going to react with this. Uh, I think, you know, I, I, that really wasn't enough damage to actually justify that. But, you know, when you consider it, there are quite a lot of links out. We've now got a total of uh, 12 links that are being built by Mafia. In fact, 14 links, I should say, and a couple more are even on the way. So there's going to be, uh, wow, that is, that is a huge amount. That is 16 links that are out. That could have been, uh, obviously, eight drones, and Mafia could be quite a lot further up than he is right now. But uh, just preparing for a possible secondary attack. Quite a lot of Terrans like to uh, continue the production of the Marines and will get a much larger force and then try and, uh, you know, push through and just sort of barrel their way through the natural expand, but in this case, he's lifted the racks, sent them home, and will be building a command center, uh, in fact, the double command center here, to get his economy back into shape, because uh, he is going to start falling far, far behind. And as we can see, he's uh, only down to 16 SCVs right now, of course, losing a couple of them in the process. Looks like he is actually going to go for that secondary attack, but it's not going to be a large one. Has seen that Mafia has a huge, huge amount of lings out right now, and he's just going to uh, head back home. Very safe, very, uh, very nice way to play there by Jibito. So, very nicely done by him. 
after uh, what is effectively a failed double proxy rax, he uh, heads back home and hangs his head, unfortunately, but will still keep the game alive. So he's now switching over that orbital command, going to head down towards the natural, get that bunker built, and get started with taking his own natural base. Meanwhile, for Mafia, got his own natural already, and okay, cancels the spine caller, sets up a uh, sets up the double. Uh, extractors, so I totally forgot what that was for a minute. Sets up the double extractors there so he can get that gas income going. Queen's injecting as they do. And uh, yeah, so I think Mafia's just gonna, he's gonna be content to drone up for the moment. He's up to 29 drones right now. Maybe even uh, getting started on that gas right now. And we'll probably see him look towards uh, the lair tech. I, I I have a funny feeling he's just going to jump straight into lair tech as quick as he can because Jibito is going to be on the back foot for the time being. He's got no real map control because the Hellions will be far, far delayed as we can see here. And uh, in fact, he is going to go for double factory. Interesting. Hmm. He may just switch straight into tanks from here and just totally forget about... Um, about getting any sorts of uh, Hellions or Banshees even. He may just switch straight into like a like a Biomech and uh, a two-base push with Marines and the tanks. I don't know, we'll see. But Mafia, of course, with his fantastic creep, creep spread has already started. Uh, looks like he's going to just sort of uh, get started heading along. The drone just now drop, jumping down to the third base, putting that hatchery down, getting started with that. And of course, a bailing nest is getting built as well, just to make sure he's protected against these possible extra bio attacks that might come along. Javito, meanwhile, well, he's got blue flame on the way, so he is going to go for... He's going to go for a Hellion-based play uh, as a follow-up to what he's doing here. Now, of course, if he, yeah, you know, I was going to say, I doubt he's going to continue on with a mech path here, but he is going to try and get some damage done with these Hellions. If he can perhaps get them around, if he can skirt them around at these, uh, these Zelnaga Watchtowers without being spotted, and if he can perhaps get close to the mineral line of Mafia, he may be able to get some damage done. But, you know, Mafia is an extremely, extremely smart player, and I highly doubt that he's going to miss out on Hellions coming about, so he should be able to prepare for that. Drone count at the moment for Mafia up to 52. As we said, he likes to go hard on those drones as quickly as he can. Lair tech on the way. Roach Warren is built just in case. And uh, as we can see, double Evo Chambers getting started on the plus one to melee weapons and plus one to Carapace. So there it is. Five Hellions in total going to come along and reveal Blue Flame. I wonder if Mafia saw that. We'll have to keep an eye out on how he prepares for this. It looks like uh, with the proxy hash here, that's almost a block. He just needs to sort of uh, chuck another building here or here, I suppose. But uh, looks like Jibito going to have a quick look at the third base. No drones there. No, no uh, roasting is available. Six Hellions in total. We'll be able to uh, have a quick shoot at that Queen. Going to roast up some of these uh, the links as well, but the roaches have come out from Mafia. Just four, just uh, five roaches. It's not a huge amount, but it's enough. Uh, sorry, eight roaches, but it's enough to uh, just defend and make sure that those Hellions don't really get any damage done. We want to try and force them back and make sure that they cannot really get any sort of presence on the map. Mafia continuing to spread all this creep, looking very good, recarpeting the map. He's like uh, some kind of uh, handyman. With creep rings being spread there. Uh, but Jibito, just trying to uh, get his get all of his uh, production up at home. Got double reactors here on these uh, barracks, and of course the one with the tech lab spinning away on the STEM research. So looking pretty good for Mafia right now. Up to 69 drones, cleaning up some of these creep tumors. Very good from Jibito to get rid of some of that. Of course, it's a big threat if you've got roaches wandering around the map and suddenly there is creep everywhere. You might get caught out of position and that's never what you want to have happen. Extra racks there are going to take it to a total of five. He's now got double factories already pumping out a, quite a lot of tanks and uh, Jibito is going to be able to push quite soon with uh, with a large amount of tanks and I don't think that Mafia realizes that there are so many tanks already uh, available to Jibito and if he tr does try and push he's not really going to get too far. We've got one on the high ground, three on the low ground as well and with that shot Mafia should head back and head back he does and uh, I would probably expect him to expand. I, you know, I kind of unsure if I want him to expand here or down to perhaps across to the side. It looks like he's going to go up there. The only problem I have with this base is this is extremely exposed. There are so many attack paths there, and it's so exposed that the drone that was going there dies. So, uh, 
as we can see, the uh, the unit count currently sitting at uh, 22 Marines, one Marauder, five tanks, and a couple of Hellions still left over, but not any more. Looks like uh, Javito is just uh, he's holding back on his push for the moment. He's going to get an armory up so he can get his upgrades going. Does look like he's going to go for a push right about now, or at least move out to secure a more forward position where he can defend his third base that he is getting down. Um, so that's just, that uh, orbital command just about to drop down. Now we'll probably see some of these SCVs transfer across as well, just to uh, get his economy mining efficiently. Let's just have a look at that uh, the creep spread here from Mafia. He's absolutely uh, fantastic with that. Look at this. He's, he's all over the GSL sign. Like, geez, I mean, come on, man. That's not cool. He's going to uh, spread across the southern side as well, heading down towards these uh, these other bases on the southern portion of the map. He's also got these overlords spread out in some beautiful positions to keep an eye on any drops. Maybe he could chuck a couple of them up here as well to just protect on that side, but pretty much everything looking quite nice for Mafia right now. He's got upgrades on the way. We've got Burrow and, of course, the pathogen glands for the uh, infestors that are coming out. Seven of them at a time now coming out. 2-2 two, two is on the way for these lings, and perhaps we will see that switch into uh, a, a very heavy melee presence on the ground. But uh, Mafia now just about to cap out. He's going to lose some of his uh, overlords through the middle of the map, but not to worry. You can always just rebuild those quite quickly. And Javito now moving out. He's got uh, his power. He's got a reasonably powerful force here. One one Marines along with uh, the tanks that unfortunately don't have any upgrades just as of yet. But of course they are still quite a powerful thing to behold. But no medivacs. That's the big thing here. And Javito has been absolutely decimated. There, Mafia still at 153 supply. He hasn't even resupplied, and he's still got a huge lead over his opponent, and that was a big grab there. I mean, that was mostly Lings and Veilings that went down in that fight. So Javito is going to be very, very worried right now. He's going to need to crank out those tanks. He needs to get, uh, you know, some sort of protection coming out, and uh, because Mafia is going to be, ma is just going to uh, just blast his way across the map. He's currently got a total of uh, 82 drones right now. 82. 43 lings, 15 roaches, a ba one little baneling, and 7 infestors. So things are uh, looking quite good for Mafia right now. Jibito, unfortunately for him, quite low in the marine count. Only 25 right now, 4 marauders. He also has 4 tanks, which is not too bad. But I mean, imagine if some of those tanks from before actually got some damage done and perhaps even stayed alive. But Mafia, not done yet. 21 banes are now morphing in. So he's going to have a big mixture of banes, lings, and infestors, and roaches that are going to come and attack into the third base. He also has an Ultralisk Cavern about to complete and more links now streaming across the map here for Mafia. So he is just about to assert his dominance on this game and on this third base here, Jibito. He is really, he's kind of out of position here with the fact that the tanks are way out of spot there and it looks like the links and the, uh, the veins are just sweeping through. They just, they don't care. They're just coming straight through. All of the units on the top of the ramp getting absolutely decimated and Mafia is about to clean this up. Javito, what can he do? I have no idea. Looks like Mafia has just hit the go button and is about to uh, annihilate every single thing here. One more tank just remaining on the side there. A couple more units trying to get out here as quickly as possible, but these two tanks on the high ground are not going to save the day. Baldi is slowing down the game again. Um, but uh, Javito, as I said, not really too much you can do here. Mafia is just going to roll all over him, especially with this resupply of links now, just uh, barreling their way across the map, and a GG well played. So, great game one for Mafia, as we um, as we saw Javito trying to pull out the old two, two proxy racks there. Uh, unfortunately, not doing too well because the bunker never got up. There's no real, like I said, there's no real safe position like where you can sort of exploit the fact that you can uh, protect the Marines a lot better on that map. So, uh, 